integrated farming system a success story over the years biodiversity in agriculture is under pressure due to commercialization of agriculture biodiversity has enabled farming systems to evolve over the years and maintenance of this is essential for the benefit of food security nutrition and livelihood security diversity includes plants animals soil microorganisms and human beings when we speak of the deccan plateau it is a region affected by climate variability and it is a need of the hour that farmers need to adopt integrated farming systems to increase their income and sustenance integrated farming system ifs enables in enhancing productivity and minimizing risks associated and under this system crops or cropping system is integrated with activities like horticulture livestock fishery agroforestry apiculture etc it provides income opportunity from allied activities during crop damage we at krishi sanjeevini is happy to introduce you to a farmer who adopted the model of ifs integrated farming system to success let's learn about ifs as he shares details of his farm his farm is an integration of cropping system which includes cereals rice maize leguminous crops like cowpea spice crops like ginger turmeric and pepper tuber crops like yams tapioca etc major portion of his land is under horticulture crops like mango cashew and banana the farming system is also integrated with livestock cows and goat rearing backyard poultry system and also fish rearing mr biju a model farmer from uttara kannada karnataka has made ifs integrated farming system a success through growing different crops based on the land suitability elevation etc in the system developed by him an interrelated set of enterprises is used so that the waste from one component becomes an input for another part of the system this reduces cost and improves production and income since the system utilizes waste as a resource he not only eliminate waste but also ensure an overall increase in productivity for the whole farming system with the type of system he have developed he tries to imitate nature's principle where not only crops but also varied types of plants animals birds fish and other aquatic flora and fauna are utilized for production the basic principle here is to enhance the ecological diversity he have planned the integrated farming system in such a way that in the upland area he has grown cashew trees he have selected the upland area for cashew cultivation because water stagnation and flooding are not congenial for cashew in the midland area he is having a farmhouse and next to which he have made shelters for goats which he is rearing according to mr biju goat rearing is a profitable business he is also having a cattle shed near the farmhouse he is having holstein freshens hf breed which provides 6.5 liters per day containing 3.5 to 4.0 percent of fat content he is also maintaining a backyard poultry which provides him with additional income and better nutritional benefits for his family mr biju says that maintaining poultry provides him with a daily source of income his major horticulture crop is mango he is growing the alfonza and ratnagiri varieties and cultivating these are highly rewarding due to the high demand the seedlings were purchased from mh and planted in 15 feet spacing which gave him ample space for intercropping in between the mango trees he grows elephant yam as intercrop according to mr biju it supplements the food requirement of the family besides providing additional income pepper also called as black gold is intercropped in the mango orchard wines should be allowed to trail up to 20 to 25 feet height and further growth should be restricted for easy harvesting of berries mr biju said
in the mango orchard of alfonso variety he is growing maize which is one of the upcoming profitable crop it is interesting to see that he uses machinery in between the trees to plow the crop residue of maize crop the very nature of integrated farming system model is to make use of or conserve the by product or waste product of one component as input for another crop this model is evident here based on the market conditions market study and profitability this year eventuated into taking up of spice crops like turmeric and ginger mr biju grows cowpea for fodder purpose either as green or as a dry fodder cowpea is having multiple benefits it can be used as green manure it is a nitrogen fixing crop and also can be used for erosion control mr biju has also taken up efforts to channelize the rainwater runoff of his field into a small open storage space this helps in erosion control and the runoff water is properly harvested in the lowland of the farm mr biju is cultivating rice which is used for home consumption and for sales purpose with minimal or no use of chemicals he is practicing residue less farming towards the lower end of his farm mr biju has maintained a fish pond where he grows fish species like katla also known as the south asian carp and rohu as an additional source of income it also helps in preserving the natural ecosystem with years of experience in farming mr biju is all set to traverse new horizons in farming krishi sanjeevini wishes him all the best in all his future endeavors